apocalypse is from Jeff. The squirrel apocalypse happening in New Hampshire. <laughs> I, I, I seriously have no clue as to what you're talking about. There's an apocalypse of squirrels. You have too many squirrels. Too many acorns? They're swimming here? What are you talking about? Okay, you can't get them, you can't capture them and get them to Vermont? <laughs> what do you mean? You, what do you can't divert them over a state line? You fuckers have nothing to do. <laughs> you got a whole fucking weekend. Can't you fucking say, hey, it's squirrel fuck day and get. <laughs> well, yes, you can. Are you kidding? There are that many squirrels here. <laughs> what did you lose control? Who's about to, how is it possible? There's no state with that many fucking squirrels. What's the attraction? You're gonna tell me there's that many acorns around here? You're all out of your fucking minds. Unbelievable. I thought I was gonna play, well let, you can, let the folks in Keene, New Hampshire know I'm showing up tomorrow. I hate those fucking squirrels. Most of them are rabid little fucks, okay? They are, they have rabies. So you god damn it, get control of these fuckers. Unbelievable, and the two of you maybe should get a grip. Wow, I, and, but your reaction to that, I'm, can't you fuckers, what, can't you have a vote or something? Don't you have a national guard? Say, come on. What we're gonna do is go get the fucking squirrels. Taser them, stop making noises and fucking work with me. Doesn't help. Get in touch with Trump, you'll love this. Bring him up. Bring him up for the fucking squirrel apocalypse. Maybe one of them will bite him or something. Wow, Ooh. I'm ex you've exhausted me. And now I'm scared shitless. I can't even go outside now. I've been here. I wandered around my fucking, there's no squirrels. I was in the woods. There were no fucking squirrels. None. Okay? None. We walk here from the bus. No fucking squirrels anywhere. I think you people are fucking, you're fucking out of your minds drunk. That's what happens. That's what you, you, when you drink and then you don't get your alcohol, you go, holy fuck, squirrels. Did you ever watch that movie, Lost Weekend? Shit happens. New Hampshire's kind of a, it's a, it's a beautiful state that's in, inundated, um, it, it turns out, which we've discovered last night, uh, John has talked about it uh, in, in his act this evening, and it's a, it inundated with, with squirrels. And, um, <laughs> and for, I, I don't know why, and they, the people they try to explain, and I think, I just think, uh, it, none of it makes sense. Uh, <laughs> And I thought they were full of shit until we were driving today, and it was literally like, um, wow! It was like uh, if it, it, it was it, it was Squirrel Gettysburg <laughs> on the highway. Thousands of little squ squirrels in blue and gray uniforms lying there. <laughs> Horrifying, just fucking hard. And I hate squirrels, I hate them. I, but even I was kind of saddened by the billions and billions of squirrels that have died to keep New Hampshire free. <laughs> so it's been a, a really remarkable week uh, because we've been able to see uh, literally millions of squirrels die. Are they here too? Are they coming? Yeah, so nobody seems to care. Nobody seems to really. None, none of you, you just kind of go, oh, don't touch them, Peter. Don't touch them. Just let them lie on the highway, their little carcasses. Good, good. I'm glad you're working on that. There's a fat squirrel epidemic here. What are you, what are you doing? He's throwing away the Skittles and they're fucking. What do you mean a fat squirrel epidemic? How are they, you mean your squirrels are so well fucking off? 
It's like a, like a, a, an elite class of squirrels that they, they, what the fuck are you talking about? There were like three people who asked about the fat squirrel. Well, how, what the fuck would I know about fat squirrels? Squirrels scare the shit out of me. I like a fat squirrel because I can run away. This is from Robert, who I believe is here this evening. I enjoy your rants the way that I enjoy an aggravated squirrel. I want to keep the squirrel aggravated. There has been much uh, lately that I don't need to do or say anything to keep Mr. Squirrel going. No, you don't. And, uh, and to be honest with you, I hate fucking squirrels, too. No, I do. Every squirrel that I see, I believe, is going to be rabid and going to bite me, and that's the way I die. I do. I fucking do. I play, I play golf, and one of the terrifying things about golf is being on a golf course with those fuckers, and they sneak around, and they're, and they're, just, and they're looking to try to just get a nibble of you, just because they're out of control. And somebody, you know, something, the bat bit them, some shit's up. What would you do if your ex built a house next to you after the divorce? Give me suggestions. My, idea, my ideas would land me in jail. I need a voice of reason. How is that even possible? Really, your ex then just built the place next door? Is that, is that even fucking... How is that fucking... Did you live on a farm or some shit? Wow, I would start... What, what, what kind of animal does your ex not like? I'd buy a lot of them. <laughs> Seriously. I'd get, I'd get, you know what I'd do? I'd buy, a, see if you, if you can, you know, I'd have deer brought in. You know, deer, you know, they have a tendency to carry Lyme disease. Send them over first. That's the first group that you send over. And then he probably likes to grow shit, so tons of rabbits are always nice to fucking feed his stuff. Uh, rabbit squirrels are good. <laughs> Most squirrels are rabid, I truly believe that. They're, those little fuckers are up to no good. And uh, I would just get them, I'd get as many squirrels as you can get, or get, you know, just buy a rabid squirrel. I'm sure someone is selling. Go over to the, uh, uh, seriously. Go to, a, uh, go to a, a veterinarian, say I'll pay good money, and would you inject this squirrel with rabies? He says, what you say, it's an experiment I'm running? And, uh, and then fucking grab that thing and then let him go in the house. Let him go. I don't have any other suggestions other than firing, you know, your weapon. Maybe every night just, you know, just get it, set up a target range in your backyard. That's all you need to do to threaten him is just sit there and have an outline of him on the thing and be firing at it. That's totally legal, totally fucking legal. In many states, like Michigan, they'd celebrate you for that. That's all I got to offer. And I know it's not a lot, um, but uh, I would move. <laughs> I'd sell that house to the, the biggest fucking asshole you could fucking find. <laughs>